New York City cat rescuers on the big screen. Why do this film? Well, both my co-director and I, uh, Steve Lawrence and I, both have an interest in cats, but we came f to the story from different routes, really. Steve and his wife bought a brownstone in Brooklyn and discovered when they moved in that they had inherited a colony of cats in the backyard, and they didn't know what to do about it. Mm. So they called a rescuer, and the rescuer helped them uh, learn about TNR and do all that, and Steve, being a filmmaker, thought, and, and also discovered that there were so many street cats, not just uh, in Brooklyn, but just on his street, that uh, he discovered that there was this whole world of rescuers and feeders and, and abandoned cats and feral cats, and he thought, this is a fascinating subject. Uh, I also was interested, and we had a mutual friend, a rescuer, who put us together. So we decided to start looking around, and we used Brooklyn as our canvas, if you will, because it's representative of cities all over the world, but with many diverse neighborhoods and many different issues. So we found rescuers who were different, uh, who staked out different territories, and we decided to follow them to see what they did on a day-to-day -day basis. And the more we filmed, the more we realized just how complicated their lives were and how interesting their lives were. Yeah, I think people, there's this stereotype of the crazy cat lady, but animal rescue is serious business. Totally. It's, it's very serious business. And the whole myth about crazy cat lady is truly a myth because the people we met um, are highly functioning and they have full-time jobs and many of them have relationships and families and yet they have a compassion for these animals and they don't want to see them suffer. But what's different from, uh, with them is that they actually do something. Many people just say, isn't it terrible? They see, they see a starving kitten. They actually do something, and that's the difference. So what has the reaction been to the film? It's been remarkable, actually. Uh, the reaction to the film has been amazing. Um, we had no idea that there was such an interest. We knew there was a core audience of rescuers who would respond very positively to the film because we, we depict what they do. They're unsung heroes. But other people, even people who don't have an affinity for cats, really respond to the film because they respect what the rescuers do. And they feel for them. This is a stressful thing that they do. And they don't, they're not validated. They're not paid for what they do. Uh, it's, it's hard work. Cats are very fertile. So it's an uphill battle. And uh, so people who see the film, you know, they say they laugh and they cry. And I can understand both sides to it. It's a happy story. It's a sad story, a poignant story. And so is there a call to action here? Do you find that it's having that effect? Yeah, I think there is a call to action for the film and also a call to awareness. As, uh, the, the more that people understand the problem, that there are upwards of possibly a million cats living on the streets of New York City, uh, then that will motivate people to do something. So in that sense, it's a call to action. The film is really a look at people as much as it is cats, you know. And from that, you can take what you want. So we have a celebrity cat with us today. Who do we have? This is Mrs. Barberry. She was on the streets of New York as a stray. One day, she was walking along, and someone picked her up and put her at animal care centers in New York City, where I met her as a little stray, and she was about seven months. So she has a mystery story, but she's really a David Copperfield Dickens kind of story because here we have her today hosting a screening at IFC in New York City. I yeah. mean, how tell us, tell us why it's important for you to be here today. Well, she advocates for homeless and uh, animals that are out there suffering that don't have homes. She also educates people about pets, what to do with them, how to take care of them. She's also a cheerleader for the soul. Her fans just love her because she brightens everyone's day. So what's the future for the film? Well, we're beginning our theatrical launch here in New York City this week at IFC Center. And then we're branching out around the country, the theaters. And then, and then in the fall, we go digital. Uh, so we're going to be on iTunes and Amazon and hopefully Netflix and everywhere else. And people can buy DVDs for people who still use DVDs. <laughs> Some of us. Some of us. And Blu-rays, we have them. Right. They can go to our website and buy them or download digitally, catrescuersfilm.com. 
and uh, hopefully it will be seen by a lot of people, not just in the U.S., but around the world. Find out more about the movie at catrescuersfilm.com. Susan Richard, 1010 Winds News.